What's up, everybody? Today, I'm going to show you how to take a simple vocal sample and turn it into a lush synth pad. All right, guys, so today we're working in Ableton Live. You can do this in any DAW, but today I'm going to be working in Ableton. So to start, we're going to create a new instrument. I'm going to grab a simpler, throw it over here, and then we're going to drag this sample right into it. I'm going to take the gain down just a touch, and then I'm going to switch mode to texture, turn warp on. Then I'm going to adjust the attack and release just a little bit. And I'm going to put a simple chord progression in here. You can hear what it sounds like now. All right, so first up, I'm going to throw an EQ on here. I'm going to go ahead and go in for Fab Filter Pro Q3. You can use any EQ you want. I'm just going to low cut it. I don't need any of these low frequencies, especially in a track. And then... Take a little bit of that high frequency information away. All right. Next, I'm going to jump in here and go for, there, there are filters around here. If you see right here, I could use the filters in Ableton, but I'm going to go for my Moog filter. And here I'm going to take the drive down to just a little bit, give it a little bit more analog character. I'm going to take the resonance down. And I'm going to probably put it somewhere around here. You can hear what this does. It's... And then next up, I'm going to go for Eventide Crystals. And this is just going to be like, I mean, a slight touch of this. Next, I'm going to jump into some chorus. I'm going to slow the rate down. And output down a touch. And then next, I'm going to go back into my UAD stuff here, and I'm going to grab a Roland Space Echo. So we get a little bit of that tape echo kind of sound in here, make it sound a little more analog. I'm going to go to mode number seven. And then I'm going to keep the repeat rate really low, but I'm going to turn the intensity up on it. One more UAD plugin here. You can use any plugins you want if you've got, you know, just the stock tape echo or whatever. You can use anything. I'm just using what I know and like. 
I'm going to throw a little bit of analog tape on here. I'm going to turn the crosstalk off. I just want to get a little bit of this tape flutter going. And then to top it all off, I have got this UAD Lexicon 224 set on a really crazy reverb. And then I can do this. And then I'm getting a little too much feedback from crystals, so I'm going to turn it down a bit. you have a beautiful lush ambient synth pad out of a very simple vocal sample. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>